silver or chrome Lexus. I also heard the zip code 067533. Or things were moving forward with a long distance lover, but then it just stopped. This is how you're gonna know this is your read love because as of late, you've been questioning if it's destiny, if you're like destined to be single, like if it's if love is not meant for you this lifetime and you're meant to be single or you're meant to convert into a sister or into a brother or a monk even. The lovers, you have someone brand new coming your way. A lot of you is a Gemini or a Leo. I heard something else about Austin, Texas, but it's long distance. That's how you're going to know it's your story. Like, Corn, you could be done with love, honestly, and you just want to focus on yourself now. Hello, Capricorn. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seas I here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read. It is a bonus read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the late chain link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read for my Capricorns. <coughs> oh, I got some fro chakra. Blockish and okay. God is on this read for my Capricorns. What messages do you have for, for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. When I got that fro chakra blockage, I literally saw a silver or chrome Lexus. I'm not familiar with the brand Lexus, okay? I'm just gonna be honest. You know, please don't take offense to that, but I'm just not familiar with that brand. Okay, but it looked to me like it was some type of SUV, and it looked like it was chrome or silver, but I saw the, the you know, the Lexus logo, like that L shape. Okay, what do we have here for my Capricorns? Number four, the Emperor, Mars in transit, Aries energy. Hmm, yeah, no, that's Saturn retrograde, the devil in reverse. Capricorn. Then we have Aquarius, Uranus in transit, the star card upright. What's at the bottom? Some of you could be a life path number four. Your birthday could be the fourth, the fourteenth. Some of you the twenty-fourth. Some of you could be forty years young or thirty-four years young. Fifty-four years young. Sixty-four years uh fifty. 64 years young or 74 years young, excuse me. Okay, Five of Swords. Page of Wands. Someone's not... Someone's not speaking. Yeah. Justice, Star. And you're wondering if you should just remove yourself from the situation all altogether. I'm getting something different here. Capricorn, you could be done with love, honestly, and you just want to focus on yourself now. King of Cups, yeah, and Magician. Focusing on manifesting your happiness, what you are desiring out of this life, but what's this Five of Swords? What's going on here? The Sun? Knight of Cups. I can't help but feel like there's something here that's long distance, but it almost feels like nothing is happening or or things were going to move. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. <coughs> Nothing's moving forward. Or things were moving forward with a long distance lover, but then it just stopped. And I feel that, oh, I may be wheezing, y'all, these allergies. Well, I don't get allergies, so now I'm wondering what, what that is all about, because I haven't had allergies in almost 10 years, ever since I went vegan and ate high fruit and did the neti pot 
I don't get allergies like I used to because I used to be on Allegra daily. I couldn't function without Allegra during allergy season. And I had a uh, childhood asthma. And I had to be on the inhaler and, you know, <clears throat> albuterol for me. Okay, for those of you that have asthma or her had asthma, albuterol for me makes me feel all types of wonkiness. And I was like, I need to figure out a way that I can cure myself from this because I do not want to be taking this anymore. Like, I would just feel the shakes. So, yeah, I feel this wheezing and this, like, stuffy nose. And I normally don't get these things anymore ever since I went vegan all those years ago. I feel because it's like a wheezing feeling. I feel this symbolizing the lungs and the heart, the heart chakra. Someone's afraid to express their love. And things could move forward between the two of you, but they're not taking any action. They're not communicating anything. This could be a Leo or a Pisces, a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. We have quite a few signs here. Cancer as well. But it's long distance. That's how you're going to know it's your story. Like nothing is happening. Nothing is going forward. At this point, it just feels like a headache for a lot of you, okay? This long-distance situation that's been going on between you and this person. And even though you would love more than anything to have this start, this brand new beginning, it's something about this person that you're realizing that they are just very childish. Justice is here. I feel that you want you wanted to have balance with this person or you could have even seen this person as like marriage material at one point like after after some hard things in love Capricorn I feel like this long distance energy that came into your life it, it like really felt like okay this is it this is going to be you know the big moment but there's been no communication and because of that nothing has moved forward and now you're I feel like a lot of you Capricorns, you're at a place where you're like, maybe it's time for me to just be at peace with myself and just pour into my cup. Like you see this King of Cups just meditating out here in the middle of the ocean. Like he's by himself, but he's surrounded with life. And almost an energy of like, you making the most high your, your husband, your wife. Right, the god, the goddess, okay? Whoever you reference, right? Some of you, you look at Our Lady Guadalupe, right? As the most high, the the creator, right? Or the creatus, for lack of a better word. But regardless of your beliefs, it's this energy of you really... It's almost like walking with God. That's what I get here. Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you you definitely have tried. You have tried. So, Capricorn, I can't help but feel like for this read, some of you... Like, this is how you're going to know this is your read, right? I heard the name Monica, but no, seriously. This is how you're going to know this is your read, love. Because as of late, you've been questioning if it's destiny... If you're, like, destined to be single. Like, if it's... If love is not meant for you this lifetime and you're meant to be single or you're meant to convert into a sister or into a brother or a monk even, like you've been, or like a off-grade, you know, green witch, like somebody that is naturist and, and lives in the forest deep in the jungle, you know, away from modern society, like you, you've been wondering if... That is your true path, like that is where you're needing to go. Whoever you are. Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords, yeah. Damn, this read is heavy. This read is heavy, I have to be honest. Yeah, Six of Cups. And it's so sad, Capricorn, because I get almost like some of you could be trying to look within you. Like, is there something... From childhood is there like some type of childhood trauma or something that you know you saw with your parents or whatnot that you're needing to heal is something you know slipping past you and that's why the same 
cycles keep repeating themselves with these men or these women, right? Or both, you know, whatever your preference is, love, okay? But it's not you. I'm here to tell you it's not you. You're not the issue. You're a king of cups, magician, high priestess with the sun, knight of cups. You are ready and willing to enter into the ten of cups with someone and to have success with them so long as it's honest, so long as the connection is built on honesty, integrity, communication, and respect towards morals and values. So you're not the issue. King of Pentacles on the side. Yeah, you're you're wondering. Six of Wands. Whoever you are, you're wondering, like, you know, maybe you'll have a friend or something that occasionally, like some, some of you are thinking maybe you'll have a friend that you occasionally link up with. You know, you have like a friend with benefits type of thing. No strings attached. Others you're thinking, you know, maybe it's just destined for me to be a born again version type of energy. The fool, the lovers. I feel like Capricorn, God is saying in this read that you will find the one for you. And that you need not lose faith. And it almost feels to me like God is preparing you for something else right now. I heard plans change. I also heard the zip code 067533. 067533, the zip code. Or maybe that's somebody's phone number. That's like the numeral um, sequence to somebody's phone number. Okay. But I just heard that. I heard something else about Austin, Texas. Ten of Wands, King of Wands, yeah, so the long distance thing is over. At least for now. This individual is not going to reach out to you until another three weeks or another three months. It might not even be until cancer season. They could be wishing you a happy birthday, but it's like their communication is leaving so much to be desired still. Magician, the sun, the lovers, you have someone brand new coming your way. A lot of you, it's a Gemini or a Leo that you have coming into your life. Or an Aries. Queen of Swords. Ten of Swords, death. So the situation with this, this long distance person, um, you're going to have a conversation with them and let's just say the conversation doesn't go well. Um, I feel like you're basically telling them, you know, we have to be in touch more frequently. We can't go these long periods. This, I'm wanting something serious. I'm wanting something real. And I want to know that this is going somewhere between the two of us. Because I care about this connection. But it's an energy of this person, Capricorn. It's like death with the Ten of Swords. It's like they're telling you, like, Look, it, we're not like that. You know, you live over here. I live over here. It, it's just not really, I don't really see this going in that direction. I'm flattered that you feel this way. It's like something, I heard horror movie. It's like something out of a horror movie where they're just spinning it completely in a different direction. And then you're just left super confused and like, well, then what did we have? Like that type of energy. <clears throat> And then this person may not even respond to you, or they may say, like, I think we just need to go our separate ways because you're you're making too much out of this. It's like a lot of projection from this individual. It's like this person is becoming super cold towards you. And I feel that, you know, if I'm being honest, I feel like they have already started to talk to someone else 
And that's why, out of nowhere, they're just... It's like they want you there, but they're not... Like, it's just not moving forward, the movement. I'm not seeing the movement that I want to see here. Moon, Eight of Wands. But the Eight of Wands does represent movement, so what does this mean? Queen of Wands. No. A lot of you are going to move forward with either a Leo, a Cancer, or a Gemini. That's where you're going to have a brand new beginning. I also get something here, like some of you could be having a hookup with someone. A very sexual energy here, like a rebound hookup. Some of you, that's not going to be for everybody, but yeah, with uh, someone that's a lot younger than you. Um, damn, Capricorn, you're attracting these fire signs, these Leos. You keep attracting Leo to your life, love. I don't know. Maybe you end up with a Leo. Maybe that's who. It's strong, Gemini, Leo. Cancer like yourself. Pisces is also showing up pretty strong, but in the end, you're going to end up with a Leo, a Gemini, or a Cancer. But I do see there's going to be the potential of a hookup here with a young Leo or a young Aries, and I'm tasting that Orbit gum, but I don't know what flavor it is because I don't chew gum. <clears throat> Anything else before we close out this read? Stepping Stone rebuilding yeah you you don't have to lose faith in your love life okay i feel like that's the main point that spirit wants to point out in this read for you guys is that you don't need to lose faith in your love life you have others coming okay and you will end up in a happy and fulfilling marriage you will feel that love and that affection towards someone else sure do you believe in life after love and capricorn for you yes you can believe life after love because there will be another love there for you okay but i do feel like there was a lot of feelings there that you had towards this individual yeah but you see brick wall abundance the unseen and alien this individual that's long distance is struggling right now that's also why they're not speaking to you i almost an energy of embarrassment but you know everybody goes through this phase every we all go through that like it happens so i don't know why they just don't come forward and tell you that deep thinking and fluidity <clears throat> thinking twice on a decision fluidity finances children the world damn this this long distance lover y'all they could have a hidden family that you don't know about they could have gotten someone pregnant or they're pregnant with someone's child if this is a i'll tell you one thing if this is a man and he's been out there like you know he's had casual stuff going on he got someone pregnant and the woman that he got pregnant doesn't want to you know she she wants to have the baby he doesn't want to have it because it was just like you know a pound town type of thing okay they were both getting it off but child if, if this I feel like this could be a Scorpio. Some of you, this is a Leo with black hair. This is a Leo with black hair, beard, black eyes. He may or may not have black hair for others. This is a woman with black hair. And she could have rather, you know, she could have bigger. Let's just use the term bust. Like her bust could be big. Okay. Let me just use that term. You know, her... Things could be very, rather large to be polite, to be a gentleman, okay? Um, so if you're a man and this is a woman long distance you've been talking to, it seems to me she has gotten pregnant by someone that she was seeing. Because someone here is panicking over children. Hmm. 
Like they don't know if they should keep the child or get rid of the child. And that's also what they don't want you to know. Even if this per even if this is the same sex, this individual is curious. So like if you're if you're gay or you're lesbian, okay, if it was the same sex thing, that I see this person was curious and they messed around with the opposite sex, but they took like huge risk. Like they I'm really getting no protection, y'all. So someone dog got someone else pregnant or they themselves got pregnant, and that's also why this long this is thing isn't gonna pan out. And I think that's also like you're finding out the truth. Eventually you're gonna find out the truth, like what really went down and why things didn't move forward. But like I said, you have someone new coming in your life. You have someone new. So it is what it is. These things happen and Ain't much we can do about it, but that's how the cookie crumbles. Give yourself space to feel those emotions, and one day is a new day. Time heals all wounds. So that's your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.